Ah, another YouTube upload. Hopefully lots of views. Hum, what the? Less than 300 views and down votes. I give up you guys suck donkey balls. Have it, have it. God save the queen. Down to 15 seconds. Op 4 eliminated. Mission successful. Hello and welcome to another video from Paraplays and part of my Rainbow Six Siege series on hints, tips and a look at some of the different characters and in this video I'm going to be looking at Castle. I don't see many people playing this role. His role really is to slow down the enemy and try and prevent people from getting in certain doors and create funnel points or killing points. Now Castle can greatly slow down the enemy progressing through doors and windows with barricades requiring a higher amount of destruction in order for them to be able to get through and since the barriers are bulletproof they're especially really useful to cover up windows that are highly exposed to enemy gunfire. Now you can use these with in conjunction with Mute's jamming devices. This really is a really powerful combination as it will prevent the enemy from using any breach charges to get in. The only downside to these bulletproof barricades is that uh, Sledge's breaching hammer can take them down really quite easy. So if you can get these down, these armoured barriers up, and you can get Mute to put down his jamming devices, if the other team hasn't got Sledge, they're going to have a real difficult time because of course they can't use any of their breaching charges. So Castle is a very powerful character and one that I do like playing, especially on the defence side. Now what I see a lot of people doing in this game is they all tend to stay in the one objective room and block themselves in. This is the last thing you want to do. It doesn't give you an option to escape. You always want to leave one room or one door that isn't blocked up. So if you need to fall back, you've got a place to run back and fall back to. This is really quite important. Don't block yourselves all in one small room because you'll end up just being a fish in a barrel. Equally, I see a lot of people Lone Wolfing just rushing off as far away from the objective as you can, meaning that if you go down in the objective room, they've all got to come back, you get taken out, and you are more effective as a team, as a squad, than you are actually going out on your own and doing Lone Wolfing. Now you may notice a lot of people put up these wooden doors and they bash in a little gap at the top. This means you can see through a lot easier than allowing the enemy to get really close up to the actual barriers. So here we are on the bank. I'm actually just going to come in here. I'm going to mark it with a C key. Always mark if you think there's an enemy. And it's quite nice that I'm actually in here with all this gold as I've got the gold weapon, the Ump 45. Now, what's about to happen in this gameplay is the shield is going to come in and this causes me nothing but a headache i'm not really an attacker class i'm a defense class or a blocker really i'm a blocker class so as he comes in there's pretty much nothing i've really got that's going to be able to take him out c4 is the best one or a gas something like that will take out the shield guy but as you're about to see i really do struggle here because i've got nothing that will allow me to take out Montague, or however you pronounce it, him and his shield. This is interesting. You can hear the enemy walking around upstairs. This is another point I mention a lot. Is press the Alt key, use the creep button, be as quiet as you can on attack so that we haven't got an idea wherever you are and we don't need to go into the cameras we already know. Here we go, shield guy coming in. Patience is the key on defence. Let them come to you rather than me going out there, running out as I see a lot of people, they get killed instantly. Try and stay in your defensive position. Op 4 has a 20 on the hostage. Just trying to keep him busy. 
uh, while I mark him on the, his position there so that they, my teammates know he's coming. Of course, he can shoot his feet occasionally when he stands up, so I'm just trying to keep him busy. Keep marking him. Hopefully, this guy on my right is going to deal with him. Hoping that one of these guys has got C4 or something to get rid of this guy. I think he actually didn't cover his angles very well. There was two guys I was firing, and the guy on my right was firing as well. So, pincer movement. But as I say, C4 is the best way to take out Castle. Really is a great character if you want to be very defensive rather than going out and attacking. Let the enemy come to you, and eventually you'll get the win. And it's absolutely satisfying. Thanks for watching. I shall see you in another video coming real soon for Rainbow Six. Uh, as I mentioned before, I will be doing a hints and tips video at some point, but for now I'm just going to go through looking at a few different characters and just get a feel for them and letting you know what I think. So far, I think uh, Castle is a fantastic character. I shall see you in another video coming real soon. Thumbs up, subscribe, and all that good stuff. I'll see you on the other side. Bye-bye. Ah, another YouTube upload. Hopefully lots of views. Um, what the? Less than 300 views and down votes. I give up, you guys suck donkey balls. Have it, have it. Need to recover the hostage. God save the queen.